what is going on today guys this is tony from team divine pro here uh coming at you guys with another improving your way shorts game segment talk i really don't know if you guys like these you really gotta tell me if you like them by uh liking them and commenting on them what you guys think and everything else because i really need to know if you guys are appreciating well not appreciating but liking the idea of this segment because if you don't and you prefer have, seeing it on something different on Way Schwartz, then please tell me, by all means, maybe I'm just not picking the right subjects. But anyways, today we're going to be talking about pie. No, I'm just joking, we're not talking about pie. Uh, we're talking about the colors. We're talking about color ratios. You know, how colorful your pie is, huh? Funny, no, okay, no. Maybe you didn't understand that joke, but... Anyways, uh, color ratios. So, if you read an instruction manual, or a trial deck, you always usually get only two colors. But if you read the trial deck uh, manual, it's, it suggests to play three, which is very truthful because three is probably the most optimal to play. And usually in most decks that have, most decks that, well, that do well, or most decks, you usually end up playing the red, the blue, and the green. Now. Some decks play differently, like, uh, some decks, like my SAO build, run a lot of different colors, i.e. it runs all of the colors, like the green, the blue, the red, and the yellow. So, when it, come, when it comes down to, it's the cards, text, and, like, their abilities that you want to really look out for. Like, in my SAO build, I only run the, the blues because I like their abilities, but I only run them at level 0. So technically, it's not even like I'm running them. It's like I'm just... Because zeros don't have to be... You don't have to have the colors to play them. Zeros... Oh, and character cards. You don't really need the colors to play them either. Character blocks, anyways. But anyways, uh, zeros, you just run them because you can. And, like, searching... The search card is pretty much a mandatory necessity in the 4K block Kirito solo player... It's kind of almost a necessity because you need powers and all the power levels and everything else is weak. But anyways, like on the things like Gu Guilty Crown, deck ratio, it's like you want to play a lot of what are the good cards, but then you also have to think about like usually you begin off your deck with two colors. So my Guilty Crown deck started off with red and green because I found that the green cards, uh, this is the proxy for the shoe. That is level 3. You usually start off at level... You usually base your cards around the 3s and all that and what you like. The, th the the green cards were really powerful. Like the change. And then there's this climax combo. Inori. So yeah, these two. They're really powerful. So then I was like, okay, let's build... Let's put these in there. But then you have to realize that you need block cards as well. You need the one... Usually the good decks have the 1k blockers. So... What do you do? You don't have, usually most decks don't have the good block cards that are the color that you need, unless if they're the other color. So blue was the card that had the 1-1-1-0 one, 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 block, so I was like, okay, I need blue then. So then I start adding blue in. But where do I add the blue from? I add the blue as in a level 3, just to add the blue. Usually, bl usually the colors you want, the third color, you can play less of like, between like 6 and 11, 6 to 10. 5 to 10, you know, that type of thing. So it's really up to you guys, but the colors all depend on what you are running. Because sometimes some decks, just like my SAO, you can run all four, but it's just really, you're running only three in reality because the blues are only level zero. So you got to keep that in account. And you got to keep in account, like, what you can't, what you need. Because, like, you always need the searchers, you always need the the 4k bodies for at early, or the high level bodies at early game for level 0. You always need a climax combo somehow. You always need at least one event card or something. Now, I'm not saying always, but like, you really need to look at what the cards in the set are offering and what they're, what are good for the deck ratios. Now, I, if I were to say anything, usually the best, if you find the better color to be better, then I would probably run around 20 of those or something, including climaxes. Oh yeah, you gotta keep in account climaxes and everything. But apart from that, you gotta keep in account uh, deck ratio. Uh, 
lost my train of thought. You gotta keep an account climaxes, event cards. Really, you pretty much always play red just because of the salvage, but then the other climax is all depending on you. So you usually end up having to play quite a bit of red. Honestly, if you play a little bit of red, because I have seen decks play a little bit of red or no red at all and no salvages, because it is possible you just don't play any red. It's always possible. But anyways, usually salvage is important, so you wanna you wanna run something that has the ability to salvage this. That has the ability to salvage. And therefore you want to play a lot of red, so like around 20 or 18. Like usually the numbers, the good numbers for the first two colors are around 15 to 25-ish. Like between the two you can like have like 15 here and then 15 here or like 20 here and then like something like that. But then you just want to add some, make sure you have like maybe like, like I said, 5 to 10 or 5 to 11 of the third color. Or if you're playing a fourth color, then make sure that it's a level 0 or something so that you don't have to worry about playing four colors because the side guys only plays holds up to three so that means that pretty much guarantees that you have to play the car the color that you need here whereas you could just rather be having all three colors here and not worry about a thing so as i said guys this is really based upon what you guys see in the deck and what you need to know what what cards you think you need but eventually, you guys really you start looking, and also a good tip for these type of things is to look up old Japanese decks on uh, the the Japanese website, which I will probably link in the description box below to help you look at the decks because so the decks that are good, like they help you see what ratios are good, what numbers for like how many zeros, because like there's 16 in my SAO, 16 zeros, and then there's like a there's like a, I don't know, 15? 15 or 14 in my Guilty Crown. But they also tell you how many numbers of this you should use. And like, if you should use this, if you should reuse this color or not. Because like, in all reality, you have to look at what's... It helps to look at what's come before you. Like, the Japan always get ahead of us. So it helps to look at what came before you. So you can base it around that. So you know at least what decent cards, what good cards are there are amongst the set and what aren't so you can avoid those and then start building your deck around these colors instead of the colors that you could have not used but you did think that they were good and at the end you didn't realize that they were bad but anyways guys i hope you this kind of helped in a way i know this was kind of wishy-washy of a segment but i do but uh i did kind of want to talk about deck race, uh deck colors and all that and uh Please stay tuned, uh, subscribe, like, content, comment, anything for anything really, just uh, anything. And uh, I hope you guys stay tuned for more Card Fight Vagrant and Way Schwartz content. This has been Tony from Team Divine Crow, signing off.